How's it going guys? This is Ramon from Mother Lismo channel. I just wanted to touch base with you and just continue with the build of the F6F5 Hellcat by Edward. Uh, I, I do have a little bit of quirks, you know, I always, I'm always touching my nose or my ears are all light. I don't know if those are ticks or anything like that. Uh, I'm not a very nervous individual, but I do have them, so please just bear with them. So I'm going to be uh, working on the photo edge parts for the bombs and uh, I did get uh, 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 the CA glue, the extra thick uh, uh, the extra thick kind however I do have a couple of options and uh, I'm gonna see which one works best so I think that that would be that will add a little bit of uh, interest to the video um, I'm gonna go ahead and get them from my toolbox we have this kind of CA gl glue it's the extra thick uh, CA glue and uh, it is a it is a generic version uh, promoted by this store. Uh, it is a generic version of uh, uh, of a brand that it's very well known to us that have a very similar bottle. And uh, I know you guys know it. And uh, and I do have another one, which is a, a more commercial one that you can get it even at the supermarkets or. But I'm not finding it on my toolbox, and that's really ha 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 ha. It almost bit my nose. It was it was right in front of me all the time, and I didn't see it. Uh, I have this other version. Uh, it is called a gel super glue. I'm not sure if the uh, it, if it is if it's the same extra thick uh, consistency that this one has. But we're gonna be testing both. So um, I'm gonna do one bomb, uh, one of the photo edge parts for for one bomb with this. Uh, glue this extra thick CA glue max secure uh, and we're gonna be working also with this one which is a more commercial version uh, I have a phone call I need to take it because I'm on call I'm uh, I it's my wife We scale modelers are constantly thinking about what's important. You know, like scale modeling, family, kits, tools, man caves, yeah, the real important stuff. Have you ever caught yourself just making a parallel between a, an air pocket and a loaf of bread? With, you know, like a gap in your model and you need to fill it? And then you start thinking that perhaps butter is not the best of putties. Uh, perhaps uh, peanut butter is, or even better, cream cheese. The gap is filled and it's quite tasty too. Or have you um, caught yourself just looking too long at the mud accumulated in the wheel wells of your car? Yep, watching mud is fun. It actually serves three purposes. Not cleaning your car, number one. Number two, it helps you model mud for that Camaro kit that you have in your stash. And three, it works for your tanks too. We even have the capacity to relate to this hobby just because. That was a small bed. Would be awesome if I was 135th scale. Oh yeah. 135th scale. And yes guys, we do find fun in the very unlikeliest places. I think that's one of the really cool things about this hobby that we actually do have fun and that um, it's a very, very um, uh, healthy kind of fun and I encourage you to keep building. Now on with the build. So now, now guys, I hope that you had like that segment uh, that I uh, came up with uh, called Humor Within Us. So hopefully in the future we're going to have a little bit more of those. Have you had your own experiences like those uh, uh, while you've been modeling? Just just share them with me, you know, in the comments. And perhaps in a later video I can impersonate them. So um, uh, we'll see if, that, if that's fun, if you like that. If not, then also comment it. Uh, now, with the build, we're going to do something fun. Um, I have this super glue that uh, apparently it's in some gel form 
and I also have this extra thick CA glue that I got from my local hobby shop. Uh, we're gonna do an experiment to see which one's best. Uh, I have this one which is two grams and that cost me two dollars so it's a dollar a gram, it's not, not cheap. Um, and this one it's 14.2 uh, grams, it's half an ounce and uh, it cost me four dollars and we'll see which one's the best. I think I think this one's the best bang for the buck. I chose both because they have similar consistencies uh, and um, and they will help me with the next step which is the photo edge parts. We have two bombs that we have already assembled that we actually saw it in the last part. Um, we have this 500 pound bomb times two. Uh, we also have the um, making a mess here. We also have the drop fuel tank which uh, will also carry a couple of uh, um, actually four four photo edge parts and um, and we're gonna make that experiment. I'm gonna make one bomb one of the photo edge parts of the bombs uh, I'm gonna make them with this glue extra thick CA glue from my local hobby shop and the other one is uh, this just uh, crazy glue or future glue gel that perhaps might have the same consistency I have not opened it so we're gonna see what's what's best for the photo edge parts okay so we're gonna have two pieces two pieces of cardboard I'm trying to get here actually I'm gonna use one post-it for one oh no here we go uh, I'm gonna write down here the extra thick and that will be the code name for this one and on the other one I'm gonna write down gel which it's the code name for this one okay so now that we've done that we've done that we're gonna go on to check out the photo edge parts so these are the parts that I have they're really really tiny they are comprised according to the um, I'm actually oh, okay. There's the other bomb. I thought I was, I had missed it. Um, and uh, it's comprised of, um, according to the manual, four straps that go in this part. There's actually a little bit of uh, guide right there. So in each, in every side of this simulated straps in styrene there uh, there's gonna be a photo edge part that resembles a very very small cross uh, we're also gonna have the um, the flywheel it's actually not a flywheel it's a uh, show right now because I don't, just don't know the name for it in English at least um, it's kind of uh, it's a propeller yeah it's that's exactly what it is this little propellers here right there so each one of those bombs has like a very small propeller that uh, actually made that horrifying noise <whistles> something like that and then we're gonna do the stabilizer the stabilizing fins uh, by uh, bending these parts here so that's what we're gonna do today <laughs> So this is the result guys and now we're gonna do the other one. So um, I made a mistake uh, with the bombs. I assembled them and I did all the surface work but I made a beginner's mistake quite honestly. The uh, photo edge parts, the uh, propeller and the tail fins were supposed to be going on this side but in my case I actually assembled them on this side so no big deal I'm just gonna correct that uh, so I'll be back whenever I have that done and um, and also I'm gonna be working with the landing gear I have the landing gear struts right here and the only thing I'm gonna be doing out of I mean like um, scratch built is that I'm gonna take that little uh, uh, wire very very thin wire that I actually kind of lost 
somewhere around here but uh, anyway no big deal I'll take another piece afterwards and I'm gonna run it with the pieces of uh, masking tape now I did an experiment while we were gone and the experiment it's sitting right here I don't know if you notice I, on the sprue I put a little bit of uh, of masking tape here and I went ahead and I coated with uh, a little bit of extra thin cement and yeah so guys um, this is the end result for the bombs of this on this part you know this is what we work we have been working with uh, these are the corrected bombs as you can see the uh, this little activation device for the bomb was actually that's where I actually put the propeller and when it when it was actually on the other side um, and so there's the propeller the uh, stabilization fins uh, it's all sanded smooth and it's all really nice and the only, the thing that I'm really proud about this episodes work it's the uh, the brake lines on the uh, on the struts on the landing gear struts so this is gonna go something like this I have the um, the, la the landing gear tires here so it will sit like this one second I'll hold it better with a tweezer like this yeah actually see the fuel line the, t the detail it's very very small right there but I think that it will add to the model and I actually enjoyed doing it a lot as I said before there we go uh, I'm gonna when I paint it I'm just gonna do some dry brushing techniques to actually uh, there we go you can see it right there so I'm gonna be dry brushing a little bit so that I can bring that brake line a little more into the uh, beholder's eye or into the eye of the beholder but that's how it's going to sit that's uh, the landing gear there, the landing gear strut with the fuel lines I mean not the fuel lines, I'm sorry, with the brake lines so that's that's how it's going to be when it's done so we're getting there guys uh, I have the other landing gear brake line to do but uh, but it's gonna be very very similar to this one so remind you this is 0 0.08 millimeter wire copper wire and uh, that's how we're standing right now so have the bombs we have the brake lines just like I promised for this episode I hope you enjoyed it this is Modelismo channel and these are the results of our work thank you very much and again subscribe comment and uh, and rate my videos I hope you like them uh, if you like them there will be more and plenty more coming coming down our way and uh, I just want to wish you the best of luck in this coming weekend and I'm logging out Thank you, this is Ramon for Modelismo Channel.